Professor Colin Berry, University of Glasgow, Director of Research, Golden Jubilee National Hospital, Consultant Cardiologist, Queen Elizabeth University Hospital, Glasgow. We are undertaking research studies in Glasgow and in the United Kingdom, and we realize that these studies are very relevant at a global level. We understand that chest pain and heart attack are problems that are very common in our community in Scotland, in the UK, but are also very common in India. We realize that we have much in common with health problems and health need, both in the United Kingdom and in India. And we are interested in collaborating for the better of the communities in India uh, and in the wider world. We are undertaking research that is described as stratified medicine. Stratified medicine uses novel tests in order to identify groups of individuals who are affected by a particular problem. Stepping back from that, doctors face patients with a problem that's unknown and uncertain, which is called undifferentiated. As a cardiologist, I am interested in undifferentiated chest pain. So we are interested in applying novel tests to identify subgroups of individuals or patients that are affected by a particular problem, so-called endotypes. <clears throat> so the tests that we are developing identify abnormalities in small vessels in the heart. The blood vessels are the most numerous in the heart, but on the other hand, they are too small to be seen. So the tests that we are using are during angiography, imaging, and also novel blood tests, such as genomics. Coming to your question about treatment, we are interested in developing new treatments that link with the results of these tests. So this is a stratified medicine approach, ultimately geared towards personalized medicine. In other words, getting the right drug to the right patient at the right time. And reflecting the health needs in our communities, both in the UK and in India, we think that there is a strong need for stratified medicine to develop new drugs for patients with particular problems. So <clears throat> genomics, in other words, using a diagnostic test with the result based on a gene signature that's specific to an individual, I see huge potential, but also the importance of identifying this health need. Advanced tests with medical equipment, big scanners, hospitals with great infrastructure can't serve the larger community, the communities who are in their rural communities. Whereas blood tests, a blood test can easily be done in a rural community, in a village, in a town, in hospital clinics. And genomics is fundamentally based on a blood test. Of course, tissue samples can also be used for genomics. But the genomic blood test opens the door for improving diagnosis and access to treatments. And also importantly, applying the results of that test to ensure that the patient has the best chance of gaining benefit without experiencing harm. And so genomic blood tests offer real hope in ways that existing diagnostic approaches are limited. So you're right that genomics and personalized medicine has very much developed within oncology. But cardiovascular, the cardiovascular community is catching up quick. There is already a 
clinical trial of personalized medicine um, led by DALCOR, which involves gene testing patients who've had a heart attack. And whilst we don't know whether this approach will lead to patient benefits or not, gene testing to in inform the decision for a drug called dalcetrapib is the first of its kind of personalized medicine in cardiovascular disease. But coming to some other relevant conditions, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, gene testing, again holds great promise for identifying patients with purportedly unexplained heart muscle thickening that can track through families. Um, we are hoping to develop studies in genetic hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in India and in partnership with colleagues in the UK. And also coming back to chest pain, um, the stratified medicine approach in patients who've got chest pain that isn't explained by blocked heart arteries, we see a role for genomic testing, especially in those younger patients with chest pain, especially those who don't have risk factors such as cigarette smoking. So we see big potential for genomic medicine and cardiovascular disease.